we're very lucky to have Origin Star and, well, Warriors new recruit and a surprise new recruit. He was the summer news that Warriors fans probably could not believe. Kurt, welcome to the show, mate. How are we going? Thanks for having me, guys. Yeah, going well, going well. Well, f- first of all, how's Auckland treating you? I-, I said that it was the surprise of the summer for Warriors fans. Was this on the radar? I mean, I remember sitting in the uh, on the beach one day and, and uh, Cam George came out and said, no, nah, no chance. And then the next day, you're a Warrior. Uh, how long did you know this was happening, mate? <laughs> yeah, no, it was obviously a, a big chance uh, having a former connection with Wavy at, at the Panthers and... Um, yeah, the opportunity arose to to come over here and um, yeah, sign up for three years. So I took it with both hands, mate. I think um, you know, it's a great opportunity, not just for myself, but um, for the club to do something special. And, and uh, it's awesome to see uh, everyone in New Zealand behind us. Mate, you've been at a couple of star clubs. Obviously, you mentioned the, the Panthers, the Broncos and the Sharks. How do you find the old setup at the Warriors, at the Waz? And, um, yeah, how's Auckland treating you? How do you find the culture of the boys and, you know, the old night markets down at Mount Wellington or under the car parks at Campdown, you know what I mean? Have you, have you treated yourself for a little fake T-shirt from down there or what? I haven't ventured out too far yet. I haven't ventured out too far yet. But uh, you've really been looking after me with this weather. It's uh, Everyone was whinging about how much it rains over here. It has only rained once since I've been here, so uh, happy days as long as this continues. I'm, I'm sure once the missus gets over, it'll probably start raining and it's going to cause me a few headaches, but uh, so far, so good. Yeah, the missus will have you on the first plane back to Brisbane once that uh, New Zealand winter kicks in, I can assure you of that, mate. But uh, you, me- <laughs> you mentioned uh, the excitement. Obviously, you left Brisbane, who is a team right at the top of the NRL. Was it important to go to a club that you wanted to still have a chance to win titles with? And, and is it the Warriors that you think is a very much a genuine opportunity? Yeah, mate. To put it plain and simple, if, if, um, if I had to go to a club that I didn't think could win the comp, I wouldn't have left, so... Um, that's you know massive draw card coming to the Warriors obviously to to chase another ring and um, you know to be a part of hopefully what is a normal premiership winning team um, and yeah just to have a whole country behind us it's a pretty cool concept and uh, I've seen what the the Warriors done last year and ha- how much fire and traction the up the wilds game gained so it was, um, yeah it's very exciting to be a part of it this year. And obviously pre-season and you guys kicking off soon. There's something you guys mentioned like around, you know, winning a title or doing what they've done last year. And, um, you know, is it a big thing in you guys' preparation for the season? No, not not so much. Um, Webby's a very process-driven coach and it's um, it's more about what we, what we have to do uh, just to get better each day, more so than, than looking ahead too far. Um, Something that I also like to do is just take it week by week. But uh, in around the training, the boys are yeah just really focused on all the, the smaller things, the detail to to make sure we're sort of uh, getting better each day and, and ready to rumble when it comes around one. Oh, very good answer, mate. Nice and <laughs> nicely set on the fence. Yeah, I like it. But what's not on the fence is the Warriors crowd in Mount Smart, mate. Well, how do you find that? Or have you played there in front of the, uh, the old locals? Are you looking forward to mate. running out in a Wars t-shirt in front of them? Hopefully it's nothing like it was at Napier because I can't do it with that many streakers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was something else last year. It was um, uh, to be honest, that was probably one of my favourite trips last year to Napier. We had a great time. Um, yeah, the streakers. That was a, quite a laugh. And to be honest, I probably needed the breath and the break. So. Uh, <laughs> I guess if if uh, if I look a bit tired, don't be scared to streak. I probably shouldn't say that. <laughs> oh, no, the Warriors, uh, Mount Smart has some pretty loose security too, so that'll happen. Don't worry about that. Uh, you just mentioned earlier that you were never going to leave the Broncos unless you thought there was a genuine chance of winning a title. Was there also, did that have to balance out with the fact that the Warriors aren't going to Vegas? Or was that a factor? Did you think one more at the Bronx just to get a Vegas trip that you didn't have to beg the missus for? <laughs> Do you think the missus, missus made me sign here just so I go to Vegas? <laughs> it's been done before, I'm no, sure. It's, um, yeah, I, uh, I was lucky enough to get over there during the off-season anyway, so uh, it's, uh, yeah, I don't really want to go back to any time soon. I'm still hurting. <laughs> tell you what, not too bad just running to Vegas. Women are just going down to like Sydney or something or up to the islands. Just running to Vegas. Uh, 
It was uh, it was a promotional trip. I had to go over there. So. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, yeah, work. <laughs> oh, brilliant, mate. Well, hey, we won't take up any more of your time. I'm, I'm imagine you've had a big day on the tools there in Penrose. So you probably want to get on the couch and park up. But uh, thanks heaps for your time, mate. And uh, hopefully we can catch you during the year when uh, the Warriors are doing great things again. Yeah, no worries at all. Thanks for having me on. Champion fella there, I imagine already, John, from uh, from that convo. And uh, I tell you what, the, the Warriors, he, once that news came through, I was in disbelief. I could not believe that they managed to pick him up. Uh, origin player, one of those Queensland origin players that just gets the, the job done. In the champion mode, oh. He's very, in the champion very mode. Very Kevin Campion-like, just oh, tough. What a warrior. What a, what a warrior. Hey, what a you voice. like that pun? Yeah, hey. yeah. Oh, hey, yeah. Hey. And I missed that too. <laughs> Classic Jeez. Beaver. Jeez, I must be getting a bit late. Um, but I, he's, just, he's just the icing on the cake of that Ford pack with there's a bit of flash to that pack as well as your workers with, with Tohu and Adam Fenua Blake and then you, you picked up RTS from rugby and it's got a settled look about it but then to throw in Kurt Capel I just thought unbelievable bit of it. administration really because as I say our great mate Cam George he was giving nothing away during summer uh, I was following that story and he said no not a chance I think he's staying at the Broncos and then what do you know unveiled as a war over next day Brad yeah uh, it's, it's great and look the this is the best squad beef I think this club has probably had, certainly since 02 with Lauatiti and the like. SCNZ, it's Kiwi for sport.